Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you very much for joining me for another video. So today's video is kind of like episode 2 of my Sunday styling series. So as you would have seen this week, I posted a Topshop sale haul featuring all of these lovely pieces here and I haven't actually tried them all on yet so I thought I would kind of try them on in this video and show you how I would style them and just to kind of show you what they look like on. As always, I will make sure to link everything below, and if there's anything that's out of stock, then I will link alternatives. But before I get into the video, I would love it if you could subscribe, and don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So, now all that's out of the way, I think we'll jump straight on in with the first piece, which of course is this gorgeous pink, kind of like a dusky pink top. So I saw this online and I thought, wow, it's such a great price. I think I got it for around like £13.50 or something. And it's just a really nice kind of staple for spring and summer. So how I would initially style this would just be with jeans, possibly black jeans, as you will see in the cutaway. I also think it would look really nice paired with a midi skirt as well. Um, you can totally dress this up and dress it down, although the fabric is quite a casual kind of fabric um, but I totally don't see anything wrong with maybe wearing this in the evening if when we're allowed out you're going to like I don't know kind of like a pub garden or like a kind of casual smart casual restaurant then I feel as though this would still work perfectly because it totally um, screams spring and summer. Okay so I've just popped the top on and as you can see this is what it looks like it's a really gorgeous colour and just a really nice flattering shape so it has the sheer detail on the front and then as you can see it has this kind of thicker band here which I really like. I feel as though this detail makes it look that bit more expensive and then it has these really cute puffed sleeves. So as for the sheer detail it is just on the front, it doesn't transfer onto the back but I think given the price of this top you can't really grumble at the design features. I think it's really nicely done. So I'm wearing a size 10 here, I kind of wish I'd gone for an 8. Um, because it is quite spacious and given that the front is stretchy it kind of um, just gives you that bit more space and I find that this kind of detail here can be a little bit slippy on the shoulder so I would say if you're between two sizes then definitely go for the smaller option there's no need to size up in this top so yeah that's the first piece and moving on to the next piece which is a piece that I kind of obsess over on Instagram. As you would have seen, I have this in the white, but I stupidly left it at my boyfriend's house before the isolation, so I haven't been able to wear it. And then when I saw this one had gone into the sale, I was like, right, I'm definitely gonna to have to give it another try. So how I would style this would be with some blue light wash jeans, maybe with some like distressed ripped detail. I would then tuck half of the shirt in and just kind of wear it loose and casual. I think that would give it a really nice kind of chic, effortlessly undone feel. And then I would pair it with some minimal heels just to really kind of elevate it and just give it that kind of Parisian effortless style. So I will go and pop this one on. Okay, so I've just popped the shirt on like super casually, really loose, kind of tucked in. This is definitely how I would style it, like I said, with light blue wash jeans, as you'll be able to see in the cutaway. But yeah, I just really love this piece. It's just so effortlessly cool. And I would say for sizing with this, I've had a couple of people ask me over on Instagram what size I would recommend. And I would say to go for your smaller size. So I actually originally tried the white version of this on in the Topshop store ages ago, way before the virus and everything. And um, yeah, I tried on a size eight as well as a size 10 because that's two sizes that I can be in between. And the size 10 was just really, really big. If I untuck this, as you'll be able to see, it really is quite oversized. So I wouldn't say you need to size down or anything. I would say just to go for your kind of smaller size out of the two. But yeah, I feel as though a shirt like this is just a classic style. If you wouldn't normally go for the stripes, then I definitely recommend the white version. It's just beautiful. I feel as though they do also have a pink colour as well. So if you're into pink, then you might like the pink one. And they might also have other colours, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, really, really love this piece. Very happy with it. Moving on to the next piece, which 
is this really sweet little play suit. So as I said in my previous video, I saw this on the model and I really wanted to give it a go. I just hope that it looks as good on me as it did on her. So you'll be able to see in the cutaway, like a full kind of full body video of what it looks like on. Um, so I'm not going to put this one on just because you might not be able to see the full kind of effect on this landscape clip. So I will leave the cutaways to do their job for this one. Um, but yeah, I just think this is a really beautiful piece for spring and summer. It also has hints of neon in it. So I feel as though that could really make your tan pop if you have one. And also I feel as though like the bright white is also so good for showing off a tan as well. Um, so I'm not going to go on too much about this because obviously if you've watched my haul you would have seen what I had to say about it but I just wanted you to be able to see what it looks like on and yeah let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. I just think I would style this with some kind of minimal heels, maybe a pretty little bag. I wouldn't go too crazy because the piece is so nice on itself by itself that I don't think you need to go too crazy with this. I think you just let the material do the talking. So Moving on to the next piece, which I absolutely love. I can't lie, actually. I have tried this one on and it's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I'm totally in love with it. I can't wait to wear it out and about. So I would probably, again, either style this with just some jeans. Obviously a nice kind of super chilled go-to outfit. And if I was to style it with jeans, then I would wear some sliders, maybe like a nice little basket bag, just to give it a nice kind of summery, spring summery feel. Equally, I think this would look so nice with shorts. I can just kind of picture it in the future on a beach with shorts on, and it's just like really slouchy and casual. A nice bit of tan as well would look great with it. This really is a gorgeous piece. I actually feel as though this looks better in real life than it does on the website. So if you are kind of unsure as to whether you want it, then I would say it looks better in the flesh. And as I said before, this is quite finely knit. So I would recommend either wearing a nude bra under it, a bralette or just a cami or something. I wouldn't say to go bra free with this one because yeah, it's quite see-through. Okay, so this is what the cardigan looks like on. As you can see, it's just kind of super casual, super slouchy, like you could even wear it off your shoulder if you wanted to. Maybe kind of like give it a bit of a half tuck. Um, but yeah, I just think this, like I said, is a really nice, comfy spring piece to have and you can actually wear it out and not feel cold which is why I say it's the perfect spring piece because if you wear this in winter you're going to freeze if you wear it in summer you're going to be roasting and so spring and like the kind of transition to summer is the perfect time for this cardigan so size wise I'm wearing a medium here and I feel as though it fits really nicely I didn't want it to be kind of short and tight I wanted it to be oversized and loose fitting so yeah, I would say to size up in this one if that's the kind of fit that you want as well. So yeah, this piece is a big yes from me. Moving on to the next item, which I haven't tried on yet, and it's this pretty little white top. So I would style this one with either blue kind of straight leg jeans and some little mules or some sliders. Again, it could possibly work with shorts. So I will do both in the cutaway so you can uh, make your mind up on which one you prefer. So yeah, I will go and pop this one on and give you my thoughts. Okay, so I've just popped this top on and if I'm totally honest, I can't decide on this one. I'm not sure <laughs> if it suits me or if it looks a bit strange. So as you can see, it has these puffed sleeves, which I think do give it a really nice shape, but I'm just, I don't know, I can't decide on this one. It also feels a bit strange around the back area. Like this bit of elastic here feels quite tight. So it's not like, it's like super flexible, but kind of restricting as well. I don't know, it just doesn't feel like that comfortable. Yeah, I'm a bit unsure on this one and I think I am wearing a 10 as well. So that is my kind of bigger size out of the two. And it does still look quite, I don't know, a bit strange, <laughs> I'm not sure. I can't decide on this one. So I'm going to take it off and give the next piece a try, which is this pink bubblegum sweatshirt. As I said in my previous video, this is something that I wouldn't normally go for. So let's see what it looks like on. 
Okay, so I've just popped this jumper on and aside from feeling like I'm out of some sort of dance group, I actually think it's quite cool. This isn't something I would normally go for, but there's something I quite like about this. It's totally out of my kind of normal style, but I feel as though for like at home, I wouldn't wear this out, but I feel like for at home, this is quite a cool piece and it's kind of giving me a bit of sass. <laughs> um, so maybe it's styled with tracksuit bottoms for at home, as you'll see in the cutaway. Um, equally, it does look pretty cool with jeans. I suppose like if I was nipping to the shop, um, I could probably get away with this. I wouldn't necessarily wear it all the time out just because it isn't my style. Um, but I kind of see this as more of a loungewear, chilled out, kind of going to my boyfriend's at the weekend kind of piece, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I really quite like this. And um, yeah, could be the new me. Like you could start seeing me in uh, kind of tracksuit style clothes. Uh, so yeah, watch this space. I'm wearing a size medium in this. I think I said in the haul video, I sized up because I didn't want it to be like, super cropped. <laughs> um, I didn't want my belly to be out all the time, I just wanted it to kind of sit nicely and kind of casual and that's exactly what this does. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this piece actually. Let me know your thoughts on whether I can pull it off or not. Um, so yeah, moving on to the next item which is actually another sweatshirt, one that's slightly more in my lane <laughs> with the style and it's this pretty little one with the butterfly on the front. I did research what the writing says and it basically says the butterfly. So um, yeah, I was a bit confused as to when I was doing the haul of what it said. Should have kind of gathered that it would be something to do with the butterfly. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go and try this one on. So I've got the next sweatshirt on and I really like it, although I think it's a bit big. So I got this one in a size medium and I kind of got it in a medium thinking, okay, yeah, it can be nice and oversized, but I think, I'll take it out so you can see like the full length. I think this is kind of going past the cool oversized look and kind of looking too big. So yeah, I really like this piece and how I would style it would be with either shorts or kind of jeans. I would probably stick to like trainers with it. Um, I suppose you could even wear it at home with tracksuit bottoms or just something really comfy and casual. Um, but I, yeah, I'm not going to keep this on any longer because I'm going to swap it for a size small. Let me just double check that I am actually wearing a medium. Yeah, it is a medium, but obviously it's just come up really quite big. Don't get me wrong, it's comfy, but I probably would wear this out. So yeah, I'm thinking it's a little bit too big for everyday wear. So I'm definitely going to swap this and yeah, hopefully they have a small. So that was everything that I had to try on and kind of style up. There's some really beautiful pieces here. There's also some that I need different sizes in, like this sweatshirt. I think that's absolutely gorgeous, but just too big. Um, let me know in the comments which is your favorite piece. And don't forget to come back again next Sunday for another video of me kind of styling clothes and pulling some outfits together. I really hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. And I hope you all had a lovely weekend and I will see you very soon.